Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace your conventional taps in your shower with a mixer style tap. So what we've got here in our ensuite shower are the conventional taps. And the product that I'll be installing is the Easy Fix Wall Tap Set. There's a couple of benefits with this product. Number one is that you can preserve your existing plumbing. So once these are removed, the mixer style taps just retrofit straight on. So it's a very simple installation. And secondly, if you prefer to turn off the water when you're kind of soaping up in the shower to save water, uh, obviously with the mixer tap you can uh, turn the water back on to the precise pressure and temperature that you had before. Well, pretty much. Much easier than with the conventional taps. So there's a couple of benefits there. So I've already turned off the water to the home and I'll get straight into it by removing these taps. If you're having some problems releasing your tap, maybe you've got a cone style tap like I've got here. Um, these can basically seize on if they're never removed. Um, just a bit of persuasion with a rubber mallet will do the trick. So if you watched uh, my previous video where I showed you how to install the basin tap set, you'll note that uh, one of the most important steps is to disassemble the tap because it is reassembled uh, in stages. So I'll just do that now and um, not, it's not to the same extent. So I'll start with the cold. We've got that uh, anti Vandal screw again. And again, the most important part here is make sure that this lock nut is removed so that this seats correctly on the tap seat. Okay, so we'll go into the ensuite now and install this one and then return and do the hot water. All right, so we've got the cold water tap here, which traditionally goes into, well, should go into the bottom. Although at my mum's house, which is a Beechwood built home in 2004, they're actually reversed in the main bathroom only, not the ensuite, that's done correctly. So they installed the hot water tap on the bottom, cold on the top, but labeled the taps hot and cold. And uh, when we moved in and had our first shower, we were confused as to why there was no hot water. And I thought it was a gas hot water system had been switched on, so like, the burner hadn't been uh, switched on. But no, we discovered that um, they actually installed them in reverse, despite labeling the taps correctly. Uh, and the builder wouldn't do anything about it. Um, and so, yeah, that's the way it is. I guess it would mean demolishing the shower recess and redoing the plumbing, and they weren't prepared to do that. And they claimed there was actually nothing wrong with the way that they installed them. So in that order, there was nothing wrong. I'm not quite convinced that's the case, but um, anyway, so yeah, absolute shit for a brain plumber. Uh, on that one. Thank you. 
So I don't know if you can see, but the uh, the taps are labelled hot and cold. Uh, so with these, uh, as I have in the main bathroom, I've got them sitting horizontal in the off position. But what you'll find is that they'll be in opposing kind of uh, positions. So you can, you can have them horizontal, but they'll just be opposing like that because to turn on the cold, you push it clockwise, hot, anti-clockwise, as per the, the basin tap set that I uh, installed in my uh, one of my previous videos. So just to keep in mind, if you're trying to get them sitting like this. Um, you're just gonna have the label upside down when they're at the off position. So I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, job done. So the way I've installed these is to match the main bathroom with the handles horizontal and opposing each other. And that is so that the hot and cold water inscriptions on the handles are facing the right way up. So we've got here the hot and the cold. You may have a preference to stack them, for example, flipping the hot water tap 180 degrees so that it's sitting on top of the cold, which uh, to be honest is probably a better look, um, but the hot water inscription will be upside down. Um, but you can choose any position you like because the handles slide onto a spline. You just need to keep in mind that the inscriptions will either be upside down or at an angle. Um, but the way I've installed them here is so that the inscriptions are facing the right way up. So I'll leave it there for now. Any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.